What? Not any bigger than me. Do you know where you are? I forget. Do you know where you are, Ben? I just can't remember. Yeah. I just need to get the code. Okay. There we are. We moved from the waiting area to the little room, eh, Ben? Do you know what you're in for? Do you know what you're in for? There's a good doggy. Hey. So this doesn't hurt. Easy big guy. Do you know what's coming, Ben? Do you know what's coming? Oh yeah. There's number one going in. Not even a yet out of him. Say a word. You tough like your cats? Yeah, he's a tough guy. There you go. You like that, don't you? Yes. You in the pain? Hey, welcome to my basement. As you just seen, we took old uh, Ben there to the vet. Got two shots, and he doesn't seem to bother them, as you noticed, eh? I was quite surprised. He weighs a whopping 58 pounds now, so he's. Put on about eight pounds, I guess, since the last time I had him there. Eh, yeah. Anyway, he's just flashing out, I guess you would say. Shedding out, too, when I got him on the table in there. I also asked about the kittens, when I should get them fixed. They're about four months old now, she said in around five and a half months. And it's kittens are a boy and a girl, so the boy is fairly straight and simple. They just removed his testicles, but the girl, I'm sure you know, but... Uh, Girls have to be cut open and their their plumbing inspected and removed and soldered up with lead solder and stuff like that. It's a mystery to me, anyway. So, uh, so yeah. So about a month and a half from now, I'll take them in there and get them fixed. Much to their chagrin. I got my red shirt on. My new red shirt. I just got mail the other day. If you can't read it, it's Infidel Crusader. Squiggly mark. Squiggly mark. I have the shield and stuff like that. So what else is new? Well, not much really. I got uh, I got my knife here that my brother made me for Christmas. And if you haven't seen the pictures, here it is again in kind of a close-up. It's a Mora 6-inch carbon steel blade. That He just got the blade and then he put the handle on it himself. Uh, a little aluminum uh, hosel or Doppler effect or something like that there. I think he said this is apple and apple, and in between here is many layers of birch bark that he epoxied together right on here, so, you know, it was kind of all sticking out. And then I guess he took a belt sander or something like that and sanded it down to the perfect thing. It feels really good in the hand, and uh, I very much uh, appreciated that. And that's my two, my new EDC knife, everyday carry knife, I guess you could say. So he, he, he didn't have time to make a, late, a sheath, but I made one. Uh, just out of a piece of leather, I put a rivet in here and a rivet in here. I stitched this up and I just stitched this by hand using like an S shaped hook because that was a, the sharpest one. You can see that the stitches are all kind of wonky and stuff. Same with on the strap here and under here. Uh, originally I had rivets up here but I replaced them with uh, thread. And I punched the holes for this one, so the so they're all more in a row and a much neater, much neater appearance, I think. And uh, I rounded off this uh, hosel thing here. They were a bit square, and it was kind of hard to get into the sheath. And so that's what I did with the knife. So I plan on getting some more knives, cheap knives, and making. Uh, I don't know if I'm going for just the blades and making the handles and on or not, but I don't think so. I think I'll just get some cheap more knives, you know, for ten, twelve dollars, and uh, build some sheaths for them. All with a view to actually making up some crafts this winter, and then sell them at the our local uh, market in Surrey every Friday. I think it's from ten to two or something like that. And uh, you know, maybe finally get enough scraped together to uh, retire. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho, subject of the day is beer, of course. Hey, I got another Samuel Adams White Christmas. 
don't know if I did this one before or not. Anyway, I got another one. It's all ale brewed with spices. And the reason why I got this one, because I just did a Samuel Adams the other day, or two weeks ago maybe, or this last week. But it's a white Christmas, so I thought I'd get it out of the way. White Christmas ale. As you can see, it's not a swirl off. And I suspect it's not going to be too dark. There's some head going in there. Yeah. Nothing like a good half inch of head. Well, it says, as crisp as the first snowfall year, this unfiltered white ale is blended with holiday spices including cinnamon, nutmeg, and orange peel. The familiar citrus and Weak characteristic of ale, accompanied by the more the spices for a faster brew that's perfect. Did I just do this last week? Hang on a second. I'll put you on hold. Okay, I'm back. I was getting a bit confused there for a second. And why is because last week was old Fizzy Week, Fizzy Week Ale, Samuel Adams. And it's ale brew with cinnamon, ginger, and orange peel. And this is uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, and orange peel. But I thought it sounded familiar. The fizzy week was pretty good last week. I don't doubt this is going to be good. It's just kind of cloudy, but it's unfiltered, so you got to take that. It means more flavor, flavor. Very nice smell. Well, first it was smooth, and then it hit me with uh, cinnamon nutmeg. All in all, it's a good brew. Very, very nice around Christmas. Go well with eggnog with uh, nutmeg and cinnamon and that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, other than that, you know, you know, what more can I show you around here? I got the shelves stocked with all kinds of good supplies. Big bins in the bottom. All, all ready for a lot of camping out and outdoor activities. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> oh, it's working. Bought some leather chews for Ben. The dentist says that they're good for cleaning his teeth. Rawhide chews? Yeah, I've been buying some of them, but I got those cheap ones from China. They're probably off the back of a yak or something like that. These ones are made in Texas. Longhorn style. What the heck? Am I leaking here? Yeah. So, getting back to the leather work. Uh, it's the first time I've ever, ever tried sewing with leather. Or, like I said the other day, I think I made a coaster in junior high shop. So it's, what I should have done, I found out later, was soaked the leather in water, warm water, uh, I don't know how long, a couple hours makes it more easier to work with. And, because uh, it was quite stiff at the time, I just from your working it's gotten softer. And also I've got some punches, some diagrams like a wolf's head or a candle flag, stuff like that, that I got from Tandy Leather in one of these boxes. And I guess you should, uh, by rights, uh, soak the leather before you do that, so it imprints better, and then it shrinks. That's one thing, though. Uh, you got to make sure you got enough room in here. If it's wet, because if you, you put it in when it's wet, it kind of molds to it. But if it shrinks too much, you'll never get the knife out without cutting the sheath open. It sounds like something I would do, isn't it? Shalom. Ah, two beer gulp. Well, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hope you have a good Friday and a great weekend. I hope it's supposed to get warmer over the weekend down here east anyway, and I hope it's uh, not too cold and not too so snowy from where you're at. Unless you're Frank in Australia, then I hope it doesn't get too hot for him. Poor bugger. I... Anyway, thanks for dropping by, and we'll see you next week. And... Uh, Oh, I said again, yeah, but please, uh, please, you know, hit the like or make a comment or something like that on the YouTube 
thing, not Facebook, because I get money apparently for likes and comments and views on YouTube. I haven't gotten any money yet, but like I said in uh, my last video there, whatever money I make out of these things is all going towards charity. Uh, and I'll just, I'll figure out something to do this year, just before Christmas. I'll either get something together or just uh, buy a turkey or buy ham or, or just give cash to one of the less fortunate families around here in Surrey. So I'm going to give it a try and uh, if you don't want it, you don't want it. It's no, no big deal, you know. Anyway, Chris, out. Oh. Ah! Are you acting silly? <laughs>